Hi everybody, Sharon from Mad Paper Crush here. Today I wanted to do a haul video for you, but also go over some happy mail that I actually got up in a meetup with Michelle from Tape and Twine. Um, I met her over last week and we met in a little town in New Hampshire and we did some thrifting and some antiquing and just had a really wonderful time together. And so I just wanted to kind of share with you the day and the things that we ended up um, getting and the wonderful gifts that Michelle um, gave to me while I met her. So I wanted to just tell you, we decided to meet up because my um, daughter goes to school where near where she lives and I was taking my daughter back up to school. And so we kind of met halfway and um, I was a little bit nervous about meeting her. I was telling her this because where I'm from, there's not a lot of people who do this kind of art and don't really understand it, including like my family and my you know friends. They just really don't understand junk journaling. So it was so lovely to meet someone that really understood it. And we have so much in common and she is so knowledgeable. I really just had a ball with her and there were so many neat stores that she took me to. It was wonderful. So the first thing that I wanted to open is her little Happy Mail gift to me. So we had lunch together and exchanged some gifts. And so this is um, her gift to me. So I'm excited to show you this. I haven't seen it either. So we'll take it in together. So it's got this beautiful parchment paper bag, which I absolutely love. I love parchment paper um, just because of the way it looks vintage and also the way that it sounds. I love that too. And let's see, so, oh, look at these napkins that are right on top. So I'm going to just, here, wait, let's see. It looks like this is in a couple of different packages. So I'm going to pull this, the top part off, and we'll do one at a time here. And so this is some napkins. Oh my, look at that. Oh, I love the owls. Aren't they beautiful? I love that. I can't wait to be using, I've, just started trying some different things with napkins, so I'm so excited to be able to use these. And look, a beach one. So my Seaside Journal, which is still in process, <laughs> I'll be able to use that for, for sure. Oh, and look at the colors on this and the pretty flowers. That one's really lovely too. Look at all these different ones. Oh my gosh, I love the gnomes. <gasps> these are beautiful. When I was in, um, I think it was when we were in Copenhagen last year, for a Christmas market. They had so many little gnomes like this and I just love them. So this one is so cute. I can't wait to use that for Christmas stuff. <laughs> hey, girlfriend, that's cute. <laughs> I like that too. Oh, look, and whale, hello there. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Those are so fun. And then we got some tall napkins here. This is another sort of sea, seaside theme. And I love shells and look at all those pretty colors. It's beautiful. Ooh, I really like this one too. Um, it's just got like a, some vintage botanical looking print there. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. I love that. Oh, this one's pretty too. And the purples and the greens in that one. I love it. Oh, and there's another, another shell one that matches that. Ooh, and look at the bird ones. I know Michelle loves um, nature and woodland type things, so that's just beautiful. I'm sure this is one of her favorites as well. I love that. And another one, purple and greens there. Ooh, and this one's neat with all the blues and greens, kind of like the ocean as well. I love that pattern. That's very nice. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is like on a book page. So it's a little uh, monkey there on a book page. That is really cool. I love that. More botanicals and some pine cones. This will be great for a fall journal. I could maybe even work it into the one I'm working on right now. Another Christmas one. And this looks like uh, vintage Christmas. I love the, um, the deer here and the little sledding and some birds. Isn't that nice? I'm gonna try to open it up here just a minute just to see if the, the patterns match, but there, that's so pretty. And then this one, we have some fox and some raccoons. 
and squirrels, <laughs> chipmunks there. Another great one for fall. And this last one, this one also has a, like a beach and nautical theme. Oh my goodness. Look at the um, seahorse and the starfish. Lovely. Oh my goodness. I, I have been having a hard time finding napkins. So thank you, Michelle. This is wonderful. And this will be great for some new projects coming up. Okay, so this is the rest of it. And oh my goodness, look at this. <gasps> Ugh, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this looks like, I just wanted to pull out if there was anything additional in here. So this looks like, here, let's do this first. This looks like some book pages here. Oh yeah, this is like um, from a train. It must be like some sort of train book. Look at those. Oh, that's really neat. Very steampunkish. I love that. Look at those illustrations. Very nice. Great book pages. Okay, so now let's look at this beautiful little journal that she made for me. There's a little bit of lace on the outside there. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty. Can you see that there with the with the botanical right in the middle? Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is one of those pressed flowers. Oh my gosh, Michelle, this is beautiful. You'll have to tell me if you made this with your um, the uh, microwave flower dryer thing that you've got and then how you pressed it. I don't know if that's, is that a laminating machine? I don't know, that is so beautiful though. Oh my goodness, I love it. Cool. And I love like vintage office type things. So this looks like just part of a um, checkbook maybe, like, you know, a register here. Oh, that's really cool, 1947. I love these old numbers. Oh, that's really awesome. And then some more book page. Look at those beautiful pictures. Oh, maybe this was some sort of encyclopedia, it looks like, maybe. Because there's a periscope and drawing or creating a periscope. And then we have some violets and orange blossoms for perfumes. Very neat. Just carefully. I'm just going to leave this out because it's so pretty. <laughs> Okay, and I'm just gonna do a little flip through here of the different pages. That's a beautiful page. Oh, I love flashcards. Oh, very cool. And some poetry here. Some book pages with poetry on it. I love it. And then let's see, we have a little pocket with a tag here. Oh, that's a really big flash card. That is really cool too. Look at that. I was wondering why it didn't go all the way down and I realized it is going all the way down. It's just that it's a really tall flash card. Very cool. Okay, another pocket over here with some more book page it looks like. Oh, and this looks like maybe um, magazines. Oh, I love these. I love old ads and things. Look at that chocolate box. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Uh, Buick first. Very neat. Oh my goodness, I love all of these. Look at this, is this a dentist? Oh yeah, <laughs> foreigns for the gum. Ugh. Cruises, very cool. More encyclopedias, <laughs> I love that. Oh, and look, White Star Line. Oh my gosh, that's the line of the Titanic. That is so cool. That is really neat. Oh, I love that. Spring and a Cruise in the Brilliant Mediterranean. I've never heard of that one. <laughs> Consult Dr. Jeweler. Yes. Oh, very cool. I love these pages, Michelle. These are so neat. I will definitely have a hard time using them though, <laughs> just to be perfectly honest, because <laughs> they're so cool. Oh, and look at this. She made a pocket from the, um, the checkbook register as well. Oh, I love that. And came up the other side, it looks like. So let's see what's in this pocket. Make sure I got everything. Another book page. Oh, and this one has fall. 
I love the different variety of things that she put in here. Oh, look at this little guy. <laughs> that is so cool. I love it. Maybe he's a milkweed pod. And autumn fires. Very neat. Okay, and this pocket, which has, has some music page on here, and this cute little tag with some collage, and of course some mushroom on. I wouldn't expect anything less than that, Michelle, from you with some mushrooms there. That is so cute. I love that. And I like this washi tape. It looks like it's, oh yeah, it looks like phases of the moon. Very cool. Oh, and a little flip out. Isn't that lovely? I like how she did that with some paper that was sewn on to kind of make the fold. Very nice. And some graph paper. Oh, I can definitely use this one for some journaling. This is awesome. Another flashcard. And I think some more of that um, encyclopedia page. Oh, look at that. That is so neat. Central America. And then census figures. But look at these great little people on there. It would be really cool in collage too. And a centipede. I always like bugs and stuff for things. Oh, look, little pocket here. Isn't that cute? With some collage on there and some sewing. Oh, let's see what's in here. Oh, oh, these are like little slide pieces, it looks like. So I could make some little slides from them. Oh, I love that. So I think you put them together after you put in what you would like in the middle, I believe. I'm thinking that's what these are. And Michelle, correct me if I'm wrong, because you know, I certainly don't know everything, but these are really neat. I like these and they're kind of um, chipboardy. So they would make a nice firm little slide, I think. I like that, that's really neat. All right. I'll have to check with her to see see what I'm supposed to do or how to do it. I missed one of those ones. So there's probably a um, matching set for each one, I think, in there. And then another book page. We got some pigs. I love that for some uh, farm theme. Show pigeons. And an upright piano. Look at that. <laughs> Very cool. This is a really neat book. I'm wondering if it's like a junior encyclopedia or something. It's very neat. And another pocket here. Well, it looks like two pockets I got here. One on the front that looks like it was a seed packet on some paper. Oh, and a little flip, look at that. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. And then there's some little cards in here. Let's see what we got. Did I get them all? Oh, nope. I don't wanna tear this, okay. Oh, look, these I think are, yep, old playing cards. So this one has some birds on there. Looks like, um, are these ducks? I'm so bad with stuff like that. Edu cards, oh, look. This one has a dinosaur on it. Oh, I love that, that's adorable. And this one looks like it's um, Walt Disney card. Oh, that is so cute with the Mickey Mouse on there. I love that. And this one, ah, oh, some flowers and kitties. And a US West antelope, very neat. And this one, I'm not sure what kind of card this is. It looks like it's possibly in German there. I, that's really neat, I like this one a lot. That's very cool looking. Those are so fun, thank you, Michelle back in here and then we can go into this little side pocket she has all these beautiful little pockets in here oh wow mother and son grinding beans on a farm in northern china very neat look at these old pictures wow mahjong craftsman that's neat oh this is national geographic magazine very neat. Oh, those pictures are beautiful. Wow. And that looks like some sort of, um, I can't tell if it's like a paddle boat or what there, but that is really neat. Steamers. That's good. 
I'm not sure exactly about that. Very cool. Love those too, Michelle. Okay. Put that back in there. Look at that page. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. Look at their laughing or something. I love that. <laughs> and another pocket with some more collage tags. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love that. And these stamps on here. Very neat. I can't tell where they're from, but that's very pretty. Very cool. Looks like another one from the encyclopedia. These are very um, sturdy pages. I love how they feel. They're very cool. Candles and candy. Perfect. Oh, those are some cute illustrations. They would be neat on something. Very cool. I love it, Michelle. Ooh, look. More little. Oh, this is one of those. I think this is um, the little slide thing that she sent me. And it looks like she's got one done there. And it looks like she put just a teeny tiny picture from a book page in there. I think that she has one of these. Um, she did some Instagram. I'm not sure if she did a YouTube on this, but she had some Instagram shots of these that she made and they really turned out lovely. Ugh, they're so cute. I love them. And some more playing cards. So it looks like these are all just normal ones, but look at those cute little puppies. I love that. Yep. These are, they feel very old. They look very old. They kind of look, um, you know, real beat up and stuff. I love that. They're so nice. Okay. Love that. All right. And one more. This is the back page here. So it looks like we have another um, encyclopedia page. Calculating machines. I like that. <laughs> My gosh, look at those things. They were huge. <laughs> And Calcutta. Oh, that's neat too. Okay. And our last page here, which just looks like um, maybe a storybook. I'm not sure what story, but look at that wonderful um, castle here. Ooh, maybe Hans Christian, uh, little Hans, maybe um, Hansel and Gretel, maybe? I don't know. I'm not sure what that is. Burgermeister. I'm not sure what that is, but isn't that cute? I love the castle picture there. That's pretty neat. All right. And so there is my little notebook of all kinds of wonderful ephemera and supplies for making some more stuff from Michelle. Thank you so much, Michelle. This is beautiful, but we are not done yet. I'm going to show you the wonderful gifts that she gave me from her swap shop coming right up. I got to go get them. Okay, friends, I'm back with all the wonderful gifts that Michelle got me at her swap shop. And I don't have a swap shop near me, so I really don't even, I'm not even sure I understand exactly how they work. But let me just tell you, there are some wonderful, wonderful things that she gave to me that she said she got at her swap shop. And I can't wait to show you, it's, it's so cool. So the first thing here is this little pencil tablet, this Peanuts pencil tablet. And even though, I mean, this picture is just amazing and you can tell, you know, kind of how old it is, but look at this paper on the inside. I, this paper is just scrumptious. So that is so cool. And she also got me these little, um, I think they're plays. They're all little plays, but they're in French. So they're, the, each page has, um, you know, French writing on it for the plays. And there are some pictures and things in there, which actually those are pretty cool. But I love these, the pages with the French on there. They would be, probably be really great for collage and for tags and all kinds of things. I just, I think those are really cool. And the pages are very, um, um, I mean, they're not like fragile or something, but they're very thin. They feel great. I think they'd be wonderful for making ephemera and stuff. So, and this one even has some writing in it too, in French, which is pretty cool. Some handwriting in French. And then this one's Horace. This one's, um, the pages are a little bit more, they're not quite as, um, this one sort of has like a little gloss to it maybe, or a semi-gloss to it there. And these are a little more, you know, matte finish, but they're still just lovely. 
So, oh, look at that one. <laughs> These are so great, Michelle. Okay. Um, she's gotten me a ton of books, so I'm going to go through them kind of fast. But this one, All Around the Block, and it's an alphabet book, but it has some, and it's not real old, but it has some beautiful um, pictures in that would be great to put on tags and things. Look at that. I just love them. Like, oh, that is so cool. Like a little table there. And I love this. Um, it looks like it's a, like a, I'm not sure what that is, an H, but it is so cool. Oh, hand. I bet you that's what that's for. It doesn't say it, but that's what that's for. And the ink, isn't that just amazing? I love that. So this book is so cool. I can't wait to use some of this in different collages and things because the pictures are just absolutely adorable. And then she got me a couple of little golden books. Um, I'm, I'm not, I don't know, I'm not, haven't done a lot with golden books. Um, I didn't grow up with golden books, so, you know, they don't really, I don't know, they don't really hold anything for me, but this movie actually does. I watched this movie a lot, um, actually with my daughter as well, and so these illustrations are really directly from the movie, the same, looks like the same um, illustrator probably did them, so that is really cool. Um, and I do want to try something with little golden books. It's just that I never have before. So I'm excited to try something new with these. And this one has three stories in it. And it has a bunch of um, pictures that I think would be really great for, um, once again, anything in, in a journal or something. I love the little animals there. Yeah, these are really cool. Look at that. <laughs> And then that's the little tugboat. And what's this one? The saggy, the saggy baggy elephant. And I, elephants is one of my favorite animals. So I, you can't go wrong with these cute little drawings for sure. <laughs> Look at that. Aw, they are really cute. So I am looking forward to these, but I don't have a lot myself. So I know there are a lot of people out there that do a lot of things with little golden books. So I'll have to do some looking around and see what I can do with these. So I, I, I do like them though. And then this book, you can you can't go wrong with um, music pages. I don't think. I love I love having these, and they have some really cute little drawings in there too, which is neat. This looks like a um, like a training book. The tr singing and playing with the tonnet tonnet tonnet. I don't even know what that is, <laughs> but that's very cool. And then she got me this Hershey's 1934 cookbook. Look at this, you guys. It has so many of these vintage pictures in them. They're so very, um, I don't know, Kodachrome looking. I don't even know what to call it, but they are so cool, the pictures that are in there. I love that. So I can't wait to go through that one. This, this would make a really neat, maybe like a um, Valentine book or something with all the different um, desserts and cakes and everything. I think that would be really cool. And then she also got me this Junior Dictionary. And I, let me tell you, I love Junior Dictionaries. I love dictionary pages in general, just because I think they look really cool. But Junior Dictionaries usually have a lot of little pictures. And I just love that. So there's this little beehive there in Hive, you can see. Um, you know, as you flip through, look at all these wonderful pictures. And they're nice and small. They would look great like on a, on a little tag or on the front of a pocket or something. I just love them to death. So this book is so cool. So thank you so much for that, Michelle. And this one I absolutely love too, Peter Rabbit. Um, this one has some amazing illustrations just like all her books do. Um, but like they're nice and nice and small. They're like perfect sizes for you know, tags or pockets or to just put on a page as a little tuck spot or something like that. Oh, I love them. They are so cool. Look at that. Very neat. Wonderful. And I'm not even done yet, you guys. Michelle is so generous. What a sweetie. I just love all these things. Now, this one she told me she had like a, a couple of volumes of, and this one's The Birds of Essex County. And there, she, in this one, there's not a lot of picture of birds. I'm not even sure if there's any pictures of birds, but the pages are absolutely, I don't know, wonderful. They are so, um, they have a very linen feel to them. They're textured. And a lot of them on the edges have like, you know, the sort of the torn edge finish on the edge. Uh, they're just, they're beautiful. 
So I'm very excited to use this for, for things as well. This would make great journal pages and things too. I just love the way they feel. You can tell it, um, tell it's very old. I was gonna see if I could find a date on this one. 1920, published by The Club, August 1920. So I think that is so cool. And then an atlas, the Hammond World Atlas. And who doesn't love an atlas? I know I do. With all kinds of maps and stuff in there. So this one, it will be very fun to use. And then she also got me this Norman Rockwell's America. And this one, of course, has just a million different Norman Rockwell drawings and pictures and things in here. Oh, paintings, I just love it. And even the black and white ones, they are so neat. <laughs> these are so fun. I do love these very much. And the last book is the Aesop for Children. Once again, it has amazing pictures in here from all the Aesop's fables, which I just, I totally love them. But the other thing I, I love about this book, which is what she had mentioned to me too, was that the words are so nice and big. So if you go through and, you know, find a, find a word that you like, you can cut it out and it's nice and big that you could use in collage or something. So you could put moment in there or you could put experience in there. I love that these words are so nice and big, you can cut them out and they'd really be visible on your page or on your tag or collage or whatever you're doing. So, so those are all the books and I'm not, I'm still not even done yet. <laughs> so this, this box, I believe she said um, she got from her mom, I think, but look at all these bingo cards. And they don't, I mean, they don't look old, but you could certainly distress these. And I love bingo cards and these would make great note cards. They would make great pockets, um, all kinds of things. So I'm so excited about these because honestly, I've been looking for some and haven't been able to find them. So these are wonderful. And then also this bingo is, this is like the instructions for the game. So it has like the um, the checking chart. So if you're calling bingo, it has that on there, which I think is pretty, pretty neato. And then also in this box was the bingo chips themselves. So like your um, dots for you to mark off, to mark off your card with. So those are fun. And you know, if I was dressing up a bingo card, having some of them on there probably would look pretty neat too. And then this also has the chips, um, I think for calling it. <laughs> and I think this is, I'm not, I don't know exactly how this thing works. Maybe, I don't know how it goes. Maybe it goes this way. Oh, it goes this way, I bet. So you probably, the chips go in like this maybe. No, I don't know. I'm gonna try this. I don't know if it's gonna work because it's got those cards in there too. Yeah, it's got these little things in here. But if you just had the, had the bingo, whoops. But see, look, there they are. So I think they're supposed to fall in this little thing. Oh, and when you turn it, you can call your number B7. <laughs> so that's really fun too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun here. Oop, there we go. Let's see if I can get them out. And then the other thing, and you'll have to excuse me while I put these back. And then the other thing in this box were was these um, little rolls of what I'm I'm thinking must be like um, like cash register or calculator tape or you know receipt tape or something like that. But it's just these wonderful rolls of paper that that just unroll. So I was thinking it would be really cool to do some stamping and things with them. Um, you know, stamp tickets on them or you know, words or whatever else. I think these would be really neat to um, embellish a little bit and add into different things as well. Okay, so one last thing from Michelle's gift to me and this, um, I don't think she got it at the swap shop, but I've always been super enamored of these piano rolls. So it's a piano paper roll and it's got this really neat um, eyelet here on the end with what looks like um, some sort of fabric, I think, or textile or something. It doesn't quite feel like paper um, on the edge there and that QRS. I mean, look at that 
great label there. That is so neat for something. And then when you unroll it, it has all of the um, punches for the piano. And it looks like on this side, there are even some, looks like some stamping and things like that on here as well. I don't understand them, so I couldn't tell you what they are, but I do love this paper. And the roll itself, it's got these ends on it that are metal to put into the piano. I just think they're, it's, they're so fascinating to me. I love them. So thank you so much, Michelle. I can't even tell you how excited I am by all this lovely stuff and your total generosity. Thank you so much. I had so much fun. And look at this box. Isn't this box neat that it came in? It has the same little logo there on there. So thank you again, Michelle. This is absolutely lovely. And I'm not done yet. So all of that stuff that I've been through so far was such a lovely, generous gift from Michelle to me when we met. But we also did some shopping together and I ended up purchasing some stuff while we were out and about on our travels. So one of the places that we went was called Murray's Home Again Thrift Shop. And I think they do sort of estate liquidations and things like that. So they had a, a mix of, you know, home items and very old books and old furniture and different things like that. Um, it was really fun walking through there because I don't think there's a place near me that has that kind of stuff in it. It's, it was so beautiful. Um, but as we were walking through, this was um, something that I found and I've been looking for pinking shears. So I, Michelle found both of these and generously let me have them. And when I, I was gonna decide between the two of them, which one I wanted, because you can see one is big and one is small, but even the, um, the teeth, when you cut them, one is a larger pattern than the other. Um, but I loved them both. I fell in love with them both, and so I purchased them both. And when I got home, Michelle, um, if you're watching this, I just wanted to tell you that I thought this would be perfect. We were talking about making faux stamps um, with the pinking shears, and I think that using these on this little paper that you gave me with some stamps or some stickers right on there would be perfect for stamps for um, making what would look like a little stamp here. So I think this would this would work out great. So I hope that you're watching because, well, I'll tell you either way, but <laughs> I'm excited to use these for little stamps because I could make them whatever size I wanted. And um, this paper is perfect. It actually feels like it could be stamp paper. So I'm so excited to use that for, for that. So the pinking shears, I'm very excited about. I've been looking for those and haven't been able to find them. And now I have two wonderful pairs of them that I'm gonna be using. Um, the next thing that I wanted to show you was this little book that I found. And they, this little shop really had some cool old books. And some of them were outrageously priced. Um, Michelle and I both just felt like, you know, some of them weren't worth what they were charging for them. Um, but this little book, it's called Little Learner's Question Book. Um, and it says in the international topics and it says 1884 on the front. And the reason I loved it, it is kind of falling apart. So the binding um, is really, you know, looks pretty damaged um, there. But the pages, first of all, it has this really um, neat inscription in here from March 1922. Um, and then another one that looks like might have been done before with 1884 on there. So I love that handwriting. It looks like it was done in pencil um, on there. But then inside itself, it has these beautiful, like, um, decorations on them and little things to remember um, and little drawings throughout that I just thought were really neat. So I wanted to get this book and this one wasn't, wasn't priced that bad. So I went ahead and got it and I just absolutely love it. I think it's so neat. And the next thing that we were looking at was um, textiles. Now, Michelle knows a lot about textiles. I am not um, an expert on those things. I was kind of going through the piles looking for things that just caught my eye, things that I liked. And Michelle would give me little tidbits of information about them, um, which was wonderful. So I really appreciated learning from her about that. Um, and she was saying that 
in um, New Hampshire along the river, there were a lot of textile mills. So there's a lot of textiles in that area. Anyway, a lot of antique textiles that you know show up in different places along that area anyway. So um, I couldn't tell you too much about this piece. I liked it because it was nice and um, long and I loved the bit of lace um, uh, edging. This trim was so pretty, I thought. I really liked that. So that was one that I had gotten. And then this one, I love the colors in this and um, this one was hand done. You can see the knotting in the back there. So this was um, a hand done piece. Now it does have a little bit of a hole here, but I just think it was, it was it's so beautiful with the pink and the purple and everything there. Um, I really liked that one. So I got that one. And then this one, I, I'm pretty sure this was probably machine made. Um, Michelle was looking at it and thought so too, but I love the decoration of it. I loved all the little holes um, throughout it. I just think it's really pretty. So I wanted to get that one. And then this one, I have to show you because I just think this one is absolutely gorgeous. It has some pinks and some blues in there. This one was also, you can tell that it was hand done, um, but I, I love the shape of it, this oval with the lace around it. I just think it's beautiful. I love that one. And then this one, nice round one with also some um, neat colors. I like the brown and the blue together and some lace around that one as well. I think this one was hand done too, yeah. When you look at it, you can see the knotting in there as well. And then this last one, um, I just think the blue was really cool. It wasn't something that I had really ever seen before, um, you know, in a textile. So I think that's probably upside down. And so, oh, and this may have even been done by machine, but maybe handmade by machine, because it looks like this is like a machine stitching, you know, not a, not a, commercial stitching machine, you know, not like a serger or something. This just looks like regular stitching. So isn't that cool? I like that. And then um, there's edging all around it. So I liked the color of that one and that's why I got that one. So those were the textiles that I got. And then I got some books. Now they had like a, um, they had like a clearance section for their books. So, you know, it was kind of hit or miss what you would find in there. And I found this one and I thought it was so cool because it's a, a list of menus and actually it had something in it as well. But when you go through it, now the pages are kind of magazine feeling. They feel sort of, you know, magazine-ish or whatever, but they have all sorts of uh, menus from different restaurants. And then also they had just, as you can see, some really cool pictures because I think it's, you know, like the front of the menus that they would put on there as well. So I think it would be fun to use these, you know, in journals as well because they, some of the pictures were just absolutely gorgeous. And I just, I like the menus too. I think that's neat. And it, I think they're all in French. I believe this is in French that they're in. Oh, look, and there's something else. I love it when you find things in books. I didn't even know this one was in there. But this looks like another, maybe another menu. Oh no, maybe it looks like a little brochure of an Abbey. Saint Michel, I'm not sure. But yeah, something about history there, that's pretty cool. And then I found these um, look like newspaper pages inside the book itself. And it's from um, 1986 to 87. So you can really tell with the, the dresses and stuff here. Look at that poof, man. That's definitely 1980s if you ask me. Let's see if I can open this up. Yeah, so there's lots of very 80s looking pictures on there. But I newspapers are fun to me too, so that was very cool to find. That was a neat find there. All right, so that's that book. And the clearance section, all of the paperback books were a dollar. Actually, I think all of the books in that were a dollar. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of Manolo Blahnik, but <laughs> I, I love his shoes. I've always loved his shoes. And I found this book of his drawings. And so it's just a book of all, like, I don't know how many years of his shoe drawings. Um, so this will definitely be some sort of journal for me because I am a shoe girl and I love shoes. <laughs> and this, they're beautiful colors. And uh, look at that. I just think they're amazing. So I'm very excited to, to use some of these 
um, in a journal as well. So you'll have to tell me if you like shoes. If I'm, let me know if I'm the only one or not that just absolutely loves crazy shoes like this. I just think they're so much fun. So I got that. And then um, we also found a set of these books and I think that they're um, uh, different artists and I think they're from Germany. Um, it says printed in Germany in English here, but the rest I think is in Germany. So I'm not, I don't know if I've ever heard of this guy, um, but it has different pictures of his in here. But we also just thought this was, the way it was bound was really neat. So this kind of, you know, it has this cover and then it has this really cool binding that, you know, it's sort of weaved through the holes there um, and that's how it's, it's held in. So we just, I thought that was really cool. Um, and so we both wanted to get one of those just to have sort of something to look at for that. But these pages, of course, are beautiful too. Um, you can feel the printing on them. It's sort of, you know, raised there. But then when you go through, there are these, um, you know, copies of his portraits and different things, I think. So, and this one I thought was really neat because like this is a centaur. <laughs> I think that's so cool. So you know, let me see if I can, the pages um, that these are on are very brittle. You can see that they're um, bent a little bit and a little bit risque here, but someone dancing with a head on a platter. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> and then two women in uh, half dress there. And looks like people kissing down here. And another centaur. I think those are really neat. I love that. And some, looks like some women dancing there. And this looks like a woman with a centaur. I'm not sure how he can lay down or maybe, I don't know what the other one was with the, the goat bottom. I don't know what that one is. But anyway, I thought these pictures were pretty cool. I don't know, they were interesting. But I also really did love the binding. And then the last thing I got, which I saved for last, and for many of you, this is not gonna be anything exciting, but this is my very first Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady. I had, I don't, I mean, I see everyone using these books and I love the, the beautiful, just stunning illustrations in these. Um, but I've never had one of the books, you guys. And I found one on the shelf in that clearance. So this book, I got for a dollar. I was so excited. Michelle said that I really had made myself a deal when I got this one. So I absolutely love this. And like I said, I'm not gonna flip through the whole thing even though I wanna flip through the whole thing, but, cause I'm sure most of you know about that, but I was very excited to get this book too. So those are all of my purchases from our wonderful day together, um, doing some thrifting together. Okay, I know you thought I was done, but while I was dropping off my daughter at college, I also hit a local thrift store near where she goes to college and I found so many good finds, I just figured I'd share them with you as well. So this was just a very small local church thrift shop in a very small town, but I found some really cool things. So I just wanted to show you. They had um, a little baggie of these um, uh, seam bindings and uh, blanket edging, I think there's called, or blanket binding it's called. I'm not sure exactly what it's called. But I loved the colors and I thought they would be perfect for just adding, you know, um, some fabric and things to different embellishments. These I think would make good um, tag toppers or even possibly some journal, you know, um, covers to put around, you know, some journal ties, some closings for journals. So, but the colors I just thought were lovely and um, I thought they were fun and I think it was, you know, 50 cents for all of those. So, <laughs> so I went ahead and got those. And then I also found, and this is not paper, obviously, um, but I found it's just this aluminum tray, but it has a really cool design on it. And I thought it would hold some washi tapes or, you know, even, you know, works in progress kinds of things. Um, I thought that would be fun to put things in. I always like neat, um, you know, interesting things to keep my stuff in, makes me happy to look at it. So I thought that was very neat too. Now, the next thing I found, they had some different um, bags of stamps. And now some of them were just, you know, holidays and things like that. But some of these, like this bag was um, 
sort of Asian inspired. So you can see, I just think that they were so pretty and I can't wait to use them for some backgrounds and things like that. Um, this beautiful, it looks like maybe a geisha with her dress on and a fan there. Um, it's so pretty and it's very detailed. I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's stamped. And then this one, which is just some trees um, with the different flowers on them. And um, I love the look of that. I'm not, I'm not even sure what kind of tree that is, but it's so cool. And then this one just has some writing on it, um, which I think is, is beautiful too. I think Chinese, if that's what this is, I think it's Chinese. I just think it's beautiful handwriting. It's just amazing looking. So I'm not sure what it says though. And then this one looks like a screen. Now let's see, do I have it right side up? Oh, I think this is right side up. So it looks like um, those folding screens that have different um, scenes on each panel. So I like this one too. And I think this one has what it, what it looks like on here. So very detailed again as well. I think it's so cool. So I'm excited to, to use those and make some, make some collage and things with those as well. And I also found this giant bag of lace. I think it was a dollar. And I wasn't sure, you know, exactly what it was used for. And it's um, a little frilly, but, and it's two layers. So I think I can probably pull it apart and use it for different things. Um, but I liked the flowers on the big side. And then the small side was just sort of a scalloped edge, which I like as well. So there's a ton of this. And it looks like somebody was sewing parts together too. So if you can see on this piece, um, there's a um, big part at the bottom, a big piece of lace at the bottom and a small one at the top. And then there's this ribbon in the middle. So it looks like someone was actually creating something with it. Like it looks like they were sewing it together to make something. <laughs> so not sure exactly what, but I think this would be great to cut apart and use for, you know, I could probably even um, make some, make some lace flowers with it or something like that. So I think that would be, be cool. If you have any ideas to do with lace like this, put it in the comments below. I'd love to know what you do if you find lace like this. And then my last part was mostly um, fabrics. So um, I don't think any of these are, you know, exceptionally old or something, but I just loved the way they look. So I think they would make good book liners. I can use them in my, um, my signature bindings. I think this will be perfect for that kind of thing. And these I think were some um, uh, pillow shams, like they're sewn, but there's a, there's a little hole in one side. Oh, I think that was it actually. Nope, that's not it. I don't know. I think there's a, there's a hole in one side that I had seen where I think, you know, like a decorative pillow was put in for these. So that's what, what these I think were. But I could certainly pull them apart and use both sides of the fabric. I think that's nice. And then I just found all these scraps that once again, I thought would be fun to use um, in somewhere. This These are very fall colors. Once again, I think I could use them in my little fall journal that I'm working on. And this has some browns with a little bit of sparkle in there which I kind of like. I think that's kind of neat. I don't usually like too much sparkle, but a little bit is always good, I think. <laughs> and then this one kind of has a, um, like a denim blue color there. I like that. And then this one, you can't really see it, but it does have like a rose pattern on there. And this might be fun because it is so very bright white. This might be fun to tea dye or coffee dye and see what happens to that to make it sort of antique looking. And then we got some browns, which I always love. Um, I love these kind of yellowy browns and the um, botanicals in there are very nice. More browns, this is a like a black and white one that I like. And then some Christmas ones, which these this Christmas one is not exactly my style. I'm, I'm not really a country Christmas kind of person, which looks like this is, but it's just a little piece. Who knows what we can do with that? And then this one has some pine cones and some cardinals and just some plain ones. This one's cool because it has dragonflies on it. Um, and you can kind of see it, they're in a pattern. They almost just look like squares, but if you look real close, you can see that it's a dragonfly, which I think is neat. That's that one. And then this one, I'm not sure exactly what this is. Um, it has kind of a texture to it, but this might be another fun one to, um, to coffee dye and see, you know, see what happens to it. 
and then just some more plain ones, which would be great for, I could probably use as book cloth on the bindings of um, altered books and things. I think that would be fun. And then this one, which is just some leaves, and I have no idea what I would do with that one, but it came in the bag with all the other ones, so I got it <laughs> along with all the other ones. So that is all of that. And I think, I think that's it, believe it or not. So I really did well this weekend. I wanted to really give a big shout out to Michelle from Tape and Twine. Thank you so much for all your wonderful gifts and a wonderful day um, that we had together. I can't wait to meet up with you again. And I hope you all have a great week. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.